took way too long to find. Guys, this was, do you see my giant white shelf back there? As you can see, the sun's went down a little at this point. It was behind the giant white shelf. So this looks very close to what I need on that brown, uh, bodice piece. I think I am going to make it lace up and back too because I think that those leather straps are holding together her armor pieces and not the this thing. So, sorry I'm like really scatterbrained after looking for that. Um, that's going to be what I'm doing with this and I'm also just going to do straight on straps. So I'm going to use this pattern. I bought it for a Ren Faire years ago and it is coming into use again. This is why I take good care of my patterns when I do use them. So I'm going to start with this piece um, because I'm going to also be able to attach my armor to it. just now realized I don't think I use this pattern. I was thinking of, of a entirely different pattern, so I will have to cut out the pieces. Okay, so I have all of my pattern pieces here. Although this begs the question, uh, how does one put on leather armor? I like stuttered there. How does one put on leather armor, right? Because I feel like the lighting is so bad in here. There we go. Because it's obviously can't be a corset back. Like this pattern is meant to be like a corseted back. So I'm gonna Google that. So the buckles on the side, I really want to give it a leather armor feel. So I, I do think I am going to do the buckles on the side instead of doing a corset back. So when I do this mock-up, what I'm going to do is leave the sides open instead of leaving the back open. So I can focus on, this is going to be a new skill for me too, adding the belt buckle things. Now I'm going to start on the mock-up. Uh, I just have some scrap fabric here. This isn't really scrap, this is muslin. It, this is what I use for mock-ups. Um, it's not obviously going to be identical or as well crafted as a final product, but I'm going to leave the stitches. My machine has like stitch distances on a scale from like one to five. I put them on five, which is the largest. So then I can easily take them out and such. And then once this is mocked up, I'm just going to start to Frankenstein it. I don't know how else to describe it. You'll see it. Um, I'm going to take off pieces, remake them, and go back and forth until it looks like what she has on. Then I did this initial mock-up. I'm just gonna kind of rearrange the pieces and resize them, and then it'll look more like Shadow Heart.
Now that all the pattern pieces are ready to go, I am going to be cutting out this vinyl. I'm hoping my sewing machine won't have too much of a problem with it. I think I'm gonna test sew a couple pieces, but I bought a bunch of this. I think it's this Autotex vinyl from Fabric Wholesale Direct. It's like a, um, it's a very nice dupe to leather, I think, because it has like the, it's very, the lighting in here is not too great right now, but it has like a texture to it and it has like a little bit of a weathered look to it. So it makes for a really, really good fake, fake leather material for cosplay because I'm no leather worker. And even if I could, I don't think I'd want to pay for the cost of leather working. I'm about to finish sewing the armor pieces together, but I wanted to show you I went to Joanne's and I got little buckles for the shoulders and the sides. Um, I I could not find it for the life of me, or I could not find them for the life of me. I ran around Joanne's for a very long time. Uh, I'm really, really lucky to have not come out with other stuff. <laughs> But it was with the leather working supplies, which I guess I just, it, I guess it makes sense if you're a leather worker, but I'm like, I sew cosplay fake belt stuff all the time. And I'm like, ah, it's not a normal thing people do, I guess. But I am going to use this brown fabric or, what, uh, or what's left of it to use as like a bias tape to finish off the edges. I'm sewing these pieces together and then I'm pressing down the fabric at the two sides and I'm doing this like top stitch because hers kind of has this effect in reference art so I think it looks nice too. The bias tape is all on around the edges. It's not my cleanest work, but this isn't really a competition piece or anything. So here it is. Something just fell. It's called add them here, here, and two on each side. I had to go back into Joanne's because I almost bought four total instead of six total. So it'll basically be sewn down onto the fabric and then um, this is how it'll go on and off. Do you have anything to say for the people, Klaus?
Okay, now that the leather armor piece is done, I'm going to be taking this Velcro, which is like sticky Velcro. Normally I would sew on Velcro, but part of my problem was on foam. I don't think it would stick very well, so we're gonna see how this works out. What I might do is I might sew Velcro onto the fabric, um, and then I'll probably uh, stick it to the foam if it doesn't work out that well. But for now, I'm just gonna try sticking it to both sides. I just wanted to note, I just ordered more buckles because I'll show you. I don't know if you'll see this, but on the side, it kind of sticks out a little in the middle because the weight of the front piece. So I just kind of want to pull it together more, like up the side, because it's on the top and the bottom. Um, I think you can see it much better from here. You see that like little gap right there? I basically just want to take this and pull it in more. This is a little bit snatched. So <laughs> this will be here Wednesday, so in this video that won't be done, but that's something that will be done in the future. wanted to note, because I'm not trying it back on again, uh, the shoulder armor is not going to go on the leather piece, I determined, because it makes it really hard to move. I'm going to find a different way to attach it to like my arm itself, because I was also looking at the reference photos and it's not on the leather armor. Okay, that is it for the leather armor. I'm finishing up on my phone because my memory card on my camera actually filled up. So. <laughs> Here we are for now. Um, I think that the, I wish the foam work was better, but like that was the last video and honestly, like I have to take my wins where I can get them. So it is what it is, but I do think it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to leave it up there overnight. It's just kind of like let it sit. The armor sticking to the vinyl piece is definitely like very, um, I probably should have accounted for where it would stick more but besides that it looks pretty good um it's just i guess i'm just being really critical but it does work and i'm very excited and even if this cosplay isn't like 100 percent perfect it looks like Shadowheart, and um i'm at least proud of my sewing skills on the vinyl i think that came out pretty good uh and i'm super excited to wear this next time i will be starting on the chainmail and the uh shirt layers i guess that's what you'd call them so stay tuned for that i hope you guys enjoyed this uh that was a lot of fun i think the velcro is perfect i just durability tested it i may or may not have picked up my hema fencing sword and swung it around for a bit because i'm like obviously if i'm cosplaying shadowheart i'm going to be posing with a sword right so anyways thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next week bye